So now when we understand salvation, he says, confess that Jesus is Lord. Now this is really important. Because when we understand this word Lord, we're saying the, the, that word Lord means that this Lord has absolute ownership and rights. You do not own your life. I do not own my life. So the confession here is that Jesus, you have complete ownership of my entire life. I don't have the ability to say no to you because I don't hold on to that right when I come into the kingdom. It messes with us as Americans because don't we have this opportunity to converse with the Lord? Yes. Don't we have this opportunity to speak with the Lord? Yes. But He's the Lord. As I heard it before, everyone wants Jesus to be their Savior, but they don't want Him to be the Lord. When you step into faith, you lose the right over your life. If the Lord calls you to sacrifice your life, you give it to Him. If the Lord calls you to live your life in a certain way, you say, yes, Lord. It doesn't mean having always a poverty mentality. No, I, I mean, we come into a single focus of Jesus, you're Lord of my life. I don't have ownership. This is who you are. This is what your scriptures say. I don't have the right to disagree with your commands. I don't have the right. I don't always understand it. But now this is what salvation is, is that confession is profession. The way that I walk is that you are my Lord. You have all ownership, all rights. That means if your reputation gets dashed upon the, the rocks, that means that if you are mischaracterized, if that means that you are, are slandered and gossiped, that means if you, all these different things, you've lost your rights to the Lord. Paul understood this. You see in 1 Corinthians 4, 6, and 11, you see all of these things that he went through that were just horrible, beating, stoning, shipwrecks, etc., etc., etc. And you get to this point, he's like, I've lost my rights. Now, Paul was not weak, he was meek. Because what Paul understood is that I've lost my rights to the one who is my protector. Your loss of rights is to a trustworthy God.